Hi, my name is Jill Harper and I'm a fellow of the Society of Actuaries. In appreciation of all the efforts from volunteers, the SOA is taking the opportunity to feature volunteers whose time and expertise has helped shape the profession and the communities around them. Please welcome one of our fantastic SOA volunteers, Melanie Dunn. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Jill. Thanks for having me. Nice to chat with you. So when did you start volunteering at the SOA? So my first volunteer experience with the SOA was shortly after I got my FSA. I got this email with a request from the curriculum committee to provide feedback on the advanced quantitative finance FSA exam. So I was sort of like a layer where they wrote the questions and they sent them to me and I sent feedback before they finalized the exam. Um, and, you know, I, I agreed to it for no particular reason, just because it felt like the right thing to do. Um, but you know, once I got into it, I really found I had a passion for trying to get the questions to be as good as possible. So, I mean, you know, I had just come off a couple marathon years, um, taking all my FSA exams over a couple years. And, you know, you get into those exams where you're writing the answers, um, you know, it's sort of open-ended. And I just remember with the practice exams, sometimes I would think there was a question that was open-ended enough where you might answer it differently based on different readings. And, you know, both answers could be reasonable, you know, a different actuary, you know, with the same data could come to a different conclusion. But um, I didn't always feel like necessarily the, the graders would, <laughs> you know, grade fairly, yeah. um, which, you know, I think is usually things are fair. But because I had this like passion for fairness, I got really into reading all the questions and really analyzing the material that had led to those questions. And um, I gave a lot of feedback. <laughs> The exam writers were great about engaging with me and you know, reflecting my feedback. And you know, I really felt like I added a lot of value in the process. So I would definitely do it again if I was asked. That's great. I'm sure that the next generation of students really appreciated your attention there. So how do you think that being an actuary and volunteering your time has an impact on others? So I guess I would just say that being an actuary is a really unique credential. Um, there's nothing else quite like it that I know of. Um, you know, I'd say I have a more rewarding career than most of the people I talk to about their jobs. And, you know, really, it, it can only be that valuable because of all the time that we're all putting into learning from each other and really, you know, continuing that the ethic of the profession. Um, and, and, you know, it's sort of a you, you get out what you put in sort of thing. So, uh, you know, we're, we, I only get to have such a rewarding career with this profession, partly because I am putting in that effort. Um, and, you know, I think we're all benefiting from that and, and we're getting this incredibly engaged, motivated profession, you know, we're thriving and we're continuing to attract the best talent um, in students. And, you know, I think we're all, we're all benefiting from that every single day. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess I have one other question for you. What would you say to someone that's considering volunteering? Um, you know, I guess there's this quote and I'm trying to remember it's um, Martin Luther King and it's. You, the people who aren't looking for happiness are the most likely to find it because when you're looking for happiness, the easiest, it, it's easy to forget that the best way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. And I just think it's important to remember that everybody needs balance, right? And um, if you're thinking about volunteering, give it a try <laughs> and you might find it that you get as much out of it as the people that you're volunteering with. Absolutely. And I love that quote. It's a good one. Thank you, Melanie. And thanks so much for taking your time to share your experience with us. It was really inspiring to hear from you. Absolutely. Thanks for chatting, Jill.